Which uh, celebrity can we uh, associate with this? <laughs> <laughs> There's a quiet tension throughout Hollywood. This is more what I expected from this afternoon. I'm getting cardboard or wood. Not a particularly aromatic wood, not cedar or fir. It's uh, more... There's a kind of a sweetness to it. I don't want to put it... Sometimes we say when we don't like wood, we say it's old board wood, but this is not old board wood. And there's some sweetness, some uh, nuance. It definitely has sweetness. Maybe, maybe you could say it's more nut than wood. Mm, nut I hadn't thought of. Yeah, it's, I was thinking wood, but... I might go cashew, uh, unroasted cashew or... Unsalted mm -hmm. cashew. Mm -hmm. Definitely. See, language is powerful. Now that I got nut instead of wood, I'm enjoying it more. Wood does not have, I mean, cedar is kind of sweet, but... Yeah, but um, it isn't cedar. So I would say nut works better. Yeah. And there's some little bit of uh, caramel, something trying to be chocolate. Yeah, I'm getting chocolate now. If we made the nuts be almond, maybe you'd say, well, maybe a chocolate almond bar of a low price that's been sitting on the shelf too long. <laughs> but still. Well, it's a winning combination. Third day of a hike, you'll take that chocolate bar. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But not a lot. Of, I don't get much in the way of flowers or fruit. It's a kind of a dead center sort of roast. Yeah, I wondered if that's the roast. Medium, medium roast. Well, there's not much more in the cup than in the nose. It goes down smoothly. It's kind of a nice finish. Sweet, simple but sweet, clean. And lasting, has some resonance to finish. Yeah, well, finish is important. Well, I'm leaning a little more towards wood and away from nut in the cup. Good mouthfeel, solid, smooth, Yeah, has some viscosity. But the finish is the best part, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely got the, yeah. It's amazing. You think it's a much better coffee after you can imagine walking away from a coffee shop thinking, well, it didn't, wasn't so hot when I was drinking it, but it's pretty good now. <laughs> Wait, who hasn't seen a movie like that, though? I mean, you know, where the, where the story is okay, but, you know, the, the ending really gets you. Yeah, it's a really nice, it's a, it does That's have a nice true. finish. Yeah. <laughs> We talk about the long, long finish sometimes at Coffee Review, way yeah. afterwards, two or three minutes, and it kind of dries out. That sweetness goes away. But the immediate finish is very, very pleasant. I would say uh, this is a medium, you know, it's flat on medium roast, and mm -hmm. uh, it's probably, I don't know, it must be Latin American coffees of some kind. Mm -hmm. You know, it could have some Brazil in it. Yeah, I just got... A uh, kind of a inexpensive, clean Brazil. That would uh, account, in a sense, for the lack of, uh, of lift or vivacity. Not that Brazil doesn't produce some great coffees, but the standard grade of commercial Brazilian Arabica coffee is uh, just like this, like this cup a little bit, uh, a little bit expressionless. But it could be, uh, have some Colombia in it, Honduras. I don't get any, any life of the African coffees bring to a cup. But as we may find out, it could be old too. It could be old in the uh, bag. It's a celebrity coffee, meaning, I don't know what that means in this case. I. I having trouble going from celebrity to faded coffee, but 
I guess it just means that the celebrity is not. <laughs> are, are you the saying the celebrity's they're... pride is not involved in they're... the uh, details of the coffee packaging? Yeah. So, Jason, what do you got on this oxygen uh, are, on this uh, number three? How, oxygen what percent? Fifteen percent. Oh, that's that's a little high. That's that's. Is there are there any uh, roasted on date on the package? Oh, you're, oh, you're gonna love this. Uh, bet best before uh, May 2023. So it's been sitting in the package for a while. For a long time, probably. Yeah. Because usually the the best before is about a year out. Right or six that's... months. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, th I think we've just uh, discovered uh, the reason for the flatness and the wood and cardboard, which is that it has a, a best buy in May. <laughs> yeah. That means that it's been sitting in the package for six, several, several months. Well, let's put it this way. We're, we're doing the show. We're, we're taping in March, so April, Ooh, May. So could, up to 10 months out, I think, charitably. Wow. That is a long time. If it's not nitrogen flush, I don't think there, we, we would agree there's no chance. Well, if it's not flush, there's no, or, or evacuated, if the oxygen hasn't been pushed or pulled yeah. out of the package when they put the coffee in, that is a very long time. If that's the case, it's amazing this coffee survived. But I, I suspect it was gas flushed. You do okay, and yeah, just but not, uh, it's just been sitting too long. Been a while. Maybe yeah. the uh, the the packaging didn't have complete integrity. Which uh, celebrity can we uh, associate with this? <laughs> <laughs> There's a quiet tension throughout Hollywood, and all. <laughs> okay, it is it is uh, Bob Marley Marley Coffee. Not Bob Marley, but Marley Coffee, and it's uh, Jamaica Blue Mountain, and it's a 100, well, let me see if the word 100% is on here. Yes. Yes. Top ranking, ranking, top ranking. That's why we got it. Our is our 100% grade one beans, the highest quality hand-sorted Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee, it has commanded respect from coffee aficionados worldwide since 1800, which may just be the, the roast date on this is on it. I didn't realize it was. I mean, it carries an except. I'm kidding. It, is, it carries an exceptional harmony of intense aroma and balanced acidity and full body. Okay, okay. Top rank and leaves a sweet, mellow, lingering finish. In, in retrospect, I can make some associations with, with Blue Mountain here in the sense that the kind of a sweetness, low acidity, sweetness, balance, uh, and, uh, and usually a kind of a nice, at best, the Brew Mountain has a kind of a brothy body. This doesn't quite have a brothy body, but it, it's pretty nice and it has a sweet finish. So, uh, you know, it probably was a pretty good coffee, but uh, sitting in the package that, uh, as long as we presume it's been sitting in the package, I'm surprised there's as much left as as there is. This is a good time to bring this up, I think. You know, unlike wine, where some wines get better in the bottle, that's the claim is, and I'm no wine expert, but the it, in coffee terms, almost an impossibility that that would be so. And they, the best we can do is what they've gotten quite good at, as we've proven with, the, certainly the Ralph Lauren was indication of that, is that coffee can maintain its quality of freshness pretty well. well if we're getting a zero, you know, so, several months out from roast, that's pretty impressive on the, on the oxygen level. But this, this coffee, 15, it was a 15, right? Yeah, was a little high and... Unlikely they're using nitrogen. Oh, you think it was nitrogen flushed, actually? It probably flushed. was nitrogen flushed originally, and the bag uh, didn't hold up, or okay. the, 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 uh, the valve. Typically, I think, with a, if a coffee has not been atmosphere evacuated or protected or flushed, uh, it usually will have 20% in several months. Wow. Uh, okay, 
So that but, would be. Uh, but maybe not, yeah. because you know the other thing is that that uh, roasted coffee degasses, puts out the CO2, and that fills the bag. So it could be that the CO2, it was not flushed, but the CO2 hung in there. That that would mean it was a good package. It contained the CO2, and that uh, diluted the oxygen. Because it's not completely flat, it's not completely dead, it has some positive features. But the cardboardiness is not owing to the Jamaica Blue Mountain. The cardboardiness, or to the roast, it's owing to the length of time in the packaging, I'm pretty sure.